Hi students, how are you? Today I am going to deliver my lecture number 8 on maintenance of roads and especially for WBM road that is waterborne macadam road and that part is related to also bituminous pavement. So this is most important part of any road pavement and that is nothing but the maintenance and maintenance is almost required for every type of pavement but the frequency might be a different i am going to congratulate you for subscribing my channel and those who have not subscribed my channel i am again requesting them to subscribe my channel and get the ideas cleared in the civil engineering and especially for the mpsc mains as well as civil engineering diploma and degree level students for their competitive as well as their professional exams. So let us start with the maintenance of the road. First of all, what is the maintenance that is very important and why it is required? The maintenance is required to keep, keep the pavement in serviceable condition. That is very important and serviceable condition as long as possible that is also important and for that CCS is very important. First C is comfort, second C is convenience and third S is safety. So maintenance of the road is keeping the pavement in serviceable condition as long as possible considering uh, comfort, convenience and safety provided to the traveling passengers or traveling public. It is necessary to know the various defects that cause the pavement failures and proper measures may be taken up to maintain the road in good condition. So for maintenance of the road, you must know the type of failures of the road and what are the preventive measures to be taken up. So maintenance of the highway compromises of the following maintenance work. It is very important. Basically the maintenance is for only carriageway. Carriageway means that is BT or concrete surface. But there are two terminologies. One is carriageway maintenance and second is the off carriageway maintenance. Off carriageway maintenance is the maintenance of the part of that road which, which is within the ROW and which consisting of the side slopes, gutters and other land which is uh, which compromises the road land width. So you must know the off carriageway maintenance and on carriageway maintenance. But basically in India, the on carriageway maintenance has given the prime importance. So we will discuss about the maintenance of the road surface means maintenance of the carriageway. Maintenance of the shoulders is also important. Maintenance of the roadside drainage. So maintenance of the roadside gutters and drainage is important. Maintenance of the bridges, culverts and other structures, that maintenance is also important. And maintenance of the roadsides, as we discussed, that is the components which belongs to roadway width or road land width. That is very important. These are the different types of maintenance. What is the necessity of maintenance? The maintenance is required to keep the pavement in serviceable conditions as described, described earlier. And potholes are the major concern which causes the accident at night in rainy seasons and in daytime also because potholes are very dangerous and in rainy season they are filled up with the water and travelers don't know the depth of that pothole or rut and which causes the accident if the drainage or drains are not properly maintained maintained the water may flow through the carriageway and it uh, may flow through uh, flow over the shoulder and we, it causes the shoulder damage also and that's why the uh, uh, ne uh, maintenance is very important to keep the road in serviceable condition also maintenance increases the life of pavement life of pavement is very important and we have to keep that pavement in proper condition in longer run even if the highways are well designed and constructed uh, constructed they may require the maintenance the extent of which will depend upon the several factors including the pavement type so for bituminous pavement the pavement maintenance required is more
for concrete pavement if properly designed and properly con constructed the maintenance required is less the various type of failures of pavement ranging from the minor and localized to major and general failure takes place on the road the failure may due to one of the following reasons there are different reasons of the failure of the pavement you must as uh, discussed in our earlier lecture we discuss about the highway material so material used for road construction may be of good quality and it should have sufficient soundness it should have sufficient durability it should have sufficient crushing strength so the material defect may lead to failure of pavement the second point is the traffic and wheel load if the traffic is more than that of design and if there are heavy wheel loads in such a cases it leads to damage of the pavement then settlement of the embankment is also important sometimes embankment of the road may settle due to weight of the fill material and it causes the failure of the road or failure of the pavement then defect in construction methods and poor quality control may also leads to failure of pavement then drainage is very important the uh, surface drainage and subsurface drainage has given the prime importance if it is not done properly it leads to failure of pavement and last but not least are the environmental factors all that environmental factors means heavy rain soil erosion high water table snowfall frost action which leads to failure of the pavement and failure of the road so these are the general causes of the pavement failure and which needs the maintenance measures then we will classify the maintenance operations in india in india the maintenance operation falls under the following groups so you can uh, remember this groups by this simple formula rp s square r square and bc rp means republican party of india sr you know that special repairs so s square r squares and bc you must know that black cotton soil so rp s square r square bc you must remember for classification of maintenance operation first r means routine repairs then periodic repairs s means special repairs another s means special repairs to monsoon damage r means resurfacing r means uh, renewal or strengthening and bc means repair to the bridges and culverts these are the various maintenance operations to be carried out for the roads in india so we will discuss one by one what is the routine repairs routine means that repair to be carried out routinely and it includes the patching work earthwork shoulder drainage or shoulder damage also road furniture road signs and arboricultural these are the routine repairs then what are the periodical repairs the name itself indicate it should be carried out at specific interval or periodically such as pre monsoon repairs and post monsoon repairs also why these are required to upkeep the carriage way maintenance of the shoulder and subgrade maintenance of the roadside drains and clearing of silt and maintaining the proper slope then maintenance of the other ancillary works such as the bridges and culverts improvement of the highway geometrics and traffic controls all these are forms the part of periodical repairs which needs to be carried out periodically or at specific interval then we will discuss about the special repair name itself indicates it should be carried out in special situation or it should be carried out where there is a special problem such as a failure of pavement and special repair are needed for surface drainage system as well as cross drainage system special repairs are difficult because they are specific one and required special attention during the process of repair so special repairs needs the special attention then special repairs to monsoon damage name, name itself indicates if there is a heavy flood or heavy monsoon is there there are damages due to flood and these repairs are carried out by under this said special repairs to monsoon damage resurfacing for bituminous surface uh, the wearing course or topmost uh, layer of the uh, road pavement or roadway crust needs to be resurfaced at every 6th or 7th year so that resurfacing is also a part of maintenance and which needs the seal coat also and renewals means the strengthening this consisting of surface dressing of pavements 
which is severely damaged and we might require the laying of bituminous pavement such as a DBM and BC and such a type of repairs are renewal are called as renewals and repair to the bridges and culverts the inspection report needs to be carried out before monsoon and we have to see that all the bridge components are functioning properly in superstructure as well as substructure and special formats are there to carry out these inspections and by observing these inspections the repairs needs to be carried out are to be listed and it should be carried out immediately to avoid the damage to the structures that are very important because there is one major accident on the Savitri bridge so all the engineers may please keep them alert to inspect such a bridges and carry out the repairs by uh, um, carrying out the proper uh, methodology and proper treatment to particular part then we are going to discuss the maintenance of different types of roads as we discussed earlier the various types of failures in pavement ranging from minor and localized failure to major and general failure do takes place on the road the failure may due to combination of one or more causes hence each and every type of road means wbm road or bituminous road or concrete road it requires the maintenance so maintenance is integral part of highway engineering then we will discuss about the maintenance of wbm roads wbm roads there are problems in wbm road because it is basically earthen road so there is a possibility of formation of ruts possibility of formation of potholes formation of corrugations formation of raveling or their raveling is seen on the top surface of the stone or earthen part and damaged edges near the shoulders these are the failures in wbm road so uh, we will discuss one by one formation of ruts it is also called as a consolidation of pavement layers please look at this figure this is the road level this is the road level and this is the rut this is the road level again another rut is formed so this formation of ruts are observed in the wbm road and formation of rut is caused by excessive camber and also due to iron tire traffic that is bullock car traffic and ruts are made good by rut renewal which consisting of cleaning and watering of the road scarifying and removing the stones then filling the section with salvaged metal and fresh metal rolling with the addition of screening gravel and watering and finally spreading 6 mm sand layer and again the dry rolling is there so the ruts are repaired in such a form uh, in such a procedure then formation of the potholes potholes are formed due to lack of binding properties of the binder material so if binder material has not sufficient binding qualities or the work is carried out with poor quality control and poor construction material it leads to formation of potholes so local subgrade failure or defects in consolidation also leads to pothole and potholes are rectified by pothole repairs the area is to be cut in square or rectangular shape it is generally not seen on any type of maintenance to be carried out by any department which is serious one all the time engineer must keep in mind that that pothole should be cut in square or rectangular shape and hand wrappers can be used for patch repairs instead of power rollers for the wbm road and for bituminous road it should be carried out with uh, sufficient number of coats also sufficient type of binding material or sufficient type of good bituminous material and rolling with power roller is important the third type of failure is formation of corrugations corrugation means formation of waves why such a waves are formed on the road surface of wbm it is due to defective rolling also it is due to vibration set up by the pneumatic tires of rollers also vibration set up due to braking also use of excessive quantity of the blindage material 
is also lead to formation of corrugation and transverse picking of the wbm surface also leads to formation of corrugations then we will discuss about the raveling what is raveling raveling is the phenomenon under which stone gets loosened and freely scattered on the surface so loosening of the stone from the earthen road or from the wbm road and scattering on the surface is called as raveling and raveling is due to lack of binding properties in the binding material like a pothole um, problem and inadequate consolidation use of two plastic as a binder excess quantity of binder also leads to raveling evaporation of tiny hair cracks and blinding with good binder and watering the surface can remedy this tendency so good binder may be used and watering may be done very carefully to avoid this raveling then we will discuss about the damaged edges why why damaged edges are there you must know that the shoulder the encasing of the carriage way must be done in between the shoulder but shoulder and road edge cannot be constructed simultaneously and in such a situation it leads to failure of edges of the road and how it is to be avoided by constructing the proper shoulder or first encasing of the road in between shoulder must be done to avoid this if defect of damaged edges damaged edges are caused due to lack of shoulder support unless prompt action is taken the damage can be progressively traversed towards the inner portion means towards the carriage way rolling the edge and the shoulder should be done simultaneously reverse cambers in the shoulder should be remedied by grinding also wbm surface gets worn due to traffic and needs periodical renewal the periodic periodicity of renewal varies from 2 to 6 years depending upon the traffic presence of iron tired vehicles quality of aggregate etc renewal is done in layers of 50 to 75 mm loose then we are going to discuss the map cracking or alligator cracking or map cracking of alligator the map cracking is the common type of defect or failure of road in case of flexible pavement means wbm as well as for bt pavement it is happened due to fatigue a localized weakness in the sub base is responsible for map cracking means if you do not use the proper material for the sub base or if the granular sub base is not used properly with proper gradation and other things it leads to map cracking of alligator so to avoid this proper gsb is to be designed and laid with proper construction method and with good quality control then we are going to discuss renewal of the wbm road what are the different steps of renewal in wbm road first of all cleaning of the road surface it is almost required for every type of pavement then picking up and scarifying the surface after moisturizing the surface then screening of the salvaged materials then forming stable shoulders by additional earthwork so you must remember that shoulders are constructed first or that box type of construction is to be carried out first then spreading of salvaged material and additional material dry rolling with the power roller wet rolling is also required then application of screening spreading binder material and rolling spreading a 6 mm layer of coarse sand or sand layer and curing by light sprinkling of water for 15 days traffic can be allowed after 2 to 3 days and this is the renewal procedure for the wbm road and you must remember because wbm road is the basic road and which needs for every type of road excluding concrete pavements nowadays so for more details and for more notes you may please contact my administrator also you can email me and i am going to deliver my next lecture on the maintenance of the road and that are the other type of pavement such as a bituminous pavement or concrete pavements so don't miss my further lectures and please press the bell icon to get the further notifications and also for the motivation you if you like this lecture you can press the like button also so okay thank you for quiet and calm listening and please listen my further lectures also thank you thank you bye